Let's go one out. Left, 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 left. One my career has been uh, very interesting. Let's go 15 now, too. I actually did my first auction back in 1987. My Uncle Wes was doing a Ducks Unlimited auction, invited me out to come and just tell some jokes and entertain at the auction. And while I was there that night, he had me try and auction off a couple of items, and I guess I must have got the bug because uh, I started doing fundraising auctions shortly after that and have been doing them ever since, and that's the only kind of auction I've ever done. They should. They're not going to speak English anyway, right? So a regular auctioneer is concerned with how much money he can get for, let's say, this bottle of beer. And I, on the other hand, or a professional fundraising auctioneer, is concerned with how much money is in this room. You're going to spend the money on travel anyway. You may as well give it to the foundation, right? He's such a personal guy. He knows the product. He knows the crowd. He knows he knows how to sell and how to get the right amount and the right dollar figures. So it's uh, anytime I have a chance to work with him, he's also extremely professional. You know, we do a five-minute run-through with the script, and uh, he just picks up and away he goes. A couple of years ago, for Compassion House, for Sorrentino's Compassion House, and they were trying to raise money to clear off the uh, mortgage. There was an outstanding mortgage of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I don't even know where I got the nerve to even try this, but I turned to the crowd. I said, folks, I said, I know that we've got to have at least 25 of the most successful business people in the city here this evening. I also know that if somebody asked, you'd probably gladly each give $10,000 so we could leave here tonight mortgage free. What I don't know is if we could do it in a minute or less. So I turned it into a little game knowing that business people are goal oriented. Well, hands started to pop up like daffodils in springtime. And uh, in 90 seconds, we gathered 35 uh, pledges of 10,000. So $350,000 in 90 seconds. He just knows how to work it and get it up to the next one. So I've seen some of my budgets, uh, the live auction, go up 20, 25 percent over what we had. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot. So anywhere that most of our auctions from the year before would be 60, 70 thousand. He came in and we were over 100. Like it was just unreal. Never been stranded anywhere because of you. He's just got a great presence um, on the stage, off the stage, mingling with the guests, and really drawing uh, the much-needed money funds out of the audience. I wrote a book called Easy Money how to generate record profits at your next fundraising auction event and in that book I share everything that I had to share there there are no secrets and and I've been happy to and we've given as many of the books away as we've sold and, and I just feel good getting that information out there and and I go to bed knowing that there's lots of organizations that are making a lot more money now because they've taken some of this information and they've run with it. It's a blessing uh, to be able to do what I do, especially to be able to do it for a, a living and make my livelihood this way. Um, but you feel like you're doing work that matters and that you, your life has a, a purpose to it. And all I am as a facilitator, I, I like to think of myself sometimes as, as the Robin Hood kind of a guy who takes from the folks who have the money and the organizations take that money and give it to the folks that, that uh, desperately need it. 5,000, still a good deal.